What's up, y'all? We are back with another video to make fun. I mean, to talk about uh, some thing that's on the internet. You know, the last video we talked about uh, these new multi point locks. I'll put the video link up here in the corner. But this video, we are talking about the connected shop. Yet another that posts sponsored videos all over the FB. And, of course, comes up in my feed because locks and probably yours, too, if you're on Facebook. And I might add that some of them, some of the advertisements are very, very interesting. Number one, I'm going to put the pictures up here that I've seen. Uh, they really, they, they really need to get a new door prep. They keep putting just different locks on this same door that's got an outline where they took a lock off and you know, just just buy another, just get another door. This looks ridiculous. This, this is not a good advertisement, in my opinion, because it shows how kind of stupid it looks. Plus, you've got a doorknob over a, a handle set, so that means you'd have to press this down and turn, and <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Just buy a door to, to put your locks on and, and do your advertisements that way. It looks horrible with the outline of the old lock on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, the website for these guys. It is very interesting. It has a whole bunch of smart door locks. That these things have taken over the world with different versions. However, my my problem with this company posting these is they make it appear that you can just go put it on any commercial store glass door, commercial space, office space. If you click on office space, and the big thing nowadays is people wanting locks put on glass store front doors. In the United States, none of these locks are going to fit on a commercial, normal glass storefront door. However, in some of their pictures, they kind of make it look like it would. These are all single point style, what we call in the U.S., um, Euro style lock, mortise locks. If we scroll down to the smart door lock slim, this is what gets me in particular. You look at that and you go, hey, that looks like it would fit on a door. And in fact, in one of their advertisements, they show this from a distance on what looks like a U.S. based door. But if you if you click on it and it's like, oh, well, look, fingerprint, you know, all the bells and whistles, blah, blah, blah. If you go to Mortis, the, the key thing that you should be aware of, if you are a consumer and you're wanting to purchase these, the key thing that you should notice is it's in metric. The United States does not use the metric system. So that should be your number one clue that really this isn't going to work for probably what you think it's going to work work for. If you click on it, you can see that this mortise lock is what we considered a, this is a single point version, but there are multi-point versions as well. Now some houses do have these on there. So if it's, if it's one of those situations where you have a lock like this on your house, to each his own, you may want to may want to think. I, I, I'm not going to recommend any of this, what I call kind of crap. Uh, even though I have done reviews on certain other brands of smart locks before, uh, the way they go about this makes it appear that you can just go put this on any door. This style of lock is on a very small percentage of U.S.-based locks and absolutely not on commercial storefront doors like we see in the U.S. All of these may be on your French doors a lot of times in, quote, fancier houses. Sorry, there's a motorcycle going by. Sometimes in these fancier houses you have single points like this. But it's never going to be on a glass storefront door. They have a bunch of different stuff. There's another one. There's one with a little knob. 
And, and you may think, hey, I'm going to order this and put it on my glass door front door. That dang locksmith told me it would be like over two grand to do it. And then this is only $300. It doesn't work like that. Same thing. You go to the mortise lock and none of them are going to fit. You know, sliding door, I, I, I've never seen the, I've seen one of these, I will say. These all use profile style locks. This is all European stuff, y'all. It is not something that you are going to find commonly in the U.S. So just be aware of that. When you see these posts come across, this is all overseas Chinese uh, locks that are very common overseas in Europe and presumably China, I would assume, too. But they're not going to fit for your, for your U.S. locks. Don't order these because they're not going to work. Uh, you know, they've got other stuff like these cameras and smart camera monitors and robots and smart wallets. Honestly, I, I just don't know. And here, locksmith. Here we go. No. I, as a locksmith, I'm not going to put those on. They look dumb. If you want to order them and put them in yourself, or if you want to order them and even pay me to put them in, there's no way in hell that I'm going to guarantee anything. If it works... And I walk out that door, that's it. I'm not coming back to fix a broken lock when it's going to break in months, if that. So, just buyer beware on this kind of stuff. Uh, you know, there's a lot, there's tons of different models here, but it's not, let's, let's go click, click on one. Hold on, let's go find this guy. Where's the latch for it? I want to see the latch. Oh, there, here it is. There it is over a Euro lock. See that right there? Okay, here it is. You see that latch right there? Normal U.S. latches are a certain size. It's a standard for U.S. This latch is not a standard size. Modification has to be done to the door to make that kind of latch work. None of this stuff, as far as locks go, are really suited for the U.S. market, but you see it all over Facebook, pushing it to try to get y'all to buy it. Just buy or beware. Stay with a U.S.-based name brand. Not saying that they're still made in the U.S., but things like Schlag, things like Yale, even if necessary, things like Quickset. Don't buy this kind of stuff because either it's not going to last that long, there's going to be glitches with it, or the mounting is so completely different that you're going to have to modify your door to make it work and it's just not going to work out right. The last thing that I want to point out is this little commercial. And I'm just going to, we're just going to, we're just going to look at this because. Mom, I lost my key so I'm locked out. Where are you? I'm at work. How am I going to get in the house? Don't worry, I got you. What just happened? I unlocked the door. Wait, how did you do that? Are you in the house? I put the app on your phone. Take a look. U-Bolt Pro 6-in-1 Smart Deck Bolt. You like it? Best overall in PC Magazine Ultralock U-Bolt Pro. It has all the bells and whistles. Okay, so what's the combination? It's Alex's birthday. Not my birthday? You like Alex better. Never mind, I don't need it. Now tell Alexa to lock the door. Lock the door. Locking. Hang on. The front door is locked. Where did you buy this? The link's in Me. my TikTok and Instagram profile. Why? I'm putting one of these on my bedroom door to All keep I can my sister say out. I just can't even. I, some of the comments on Facebook are funny. I, I, I'm trying not to ridicule. But, but all, all I gotta say is that, that it's just I mean how how hire an actor that is an actual actor that's just so super cringe anyway just buyer beware if you go and you see all this stuff on facebook just be assured that either a even though it is seen on in cbs seen on abc seen on fox that doesn't mean anything anybody can put that on their website and assuredly they have multifamily no no there's plenty of camera options out there smart door lock fingerprint camera 
that just means that more things are able to break and not work right. Come on, y'all. This fingerprint smart padlock, we all know somebody said, <laughs> showed that that thing is absolutely useless. Uh, and I would put pretty much everything else in here in the mostly useless category. Fingerprint smart door lock. Look at this guy. Oh, it does have push buttons on there, but no, no. If you want to... If you want to buy one of these for your stupid TikTok videos, then go ahead. But, but this, this is not, this is not what you want, y'all. This is not it. Nothing, not nothing about this. See that? That's not a format that the United States uses, and that honestly looks pretty ridiculous as well. So anyway, once again, barberware, and uh, that's it. Just. When I see things like this, I, I just can't help but shake my head. So, anyway, post your thoughts and comments in, in the comments section. And, uh, and we'll catch you next video.